The party's acting president, Elias Mutziri, at his hospital bedside at a Johannesburg hospital earlier today. This comes after re the reports that there was a power struggle within the opposition party in Zimbabwe. Zangirai has dismissed reports that he had changed the roles and responsibility of the acting party president. Uh, foreign editor Sophie Mukwena spoke to Mutziri after his meeting with Morgan Zangirai. There's been a bit of uh, false, falsehoods going around which has disturbed the operations of the party. Hence the president has asked me to come personally to, to share with me what is happening. Uh, people are claiming that uh, they've been asked to act outside me. But the president confirmed that you can only talk to the acting president, no one else. That's why I'm here and I've talked to him last night. This morning I left him going for, for the x-ray. What we are looking at is the future of the country. People must be united. People must work together. People must respect authority as given by the president, uh, Richard Morgan Changrai, to make sure that they work towards um, bringing the hope of Zimbabweans, that is winning the 2018 elections. Well, these mixed messages, are they not going to bring confusion to members of the party on the ground? That's why it has been clarified by bringing the acting president who has the authority to talk to the one he has uh, asked to act on his behalf, who is myself, and no one else is going to come. He says no one else is going to come to the hospital. He's go he's, while he's recovering, he doesn't want anything, he deals with me. If anything comes up, I have to fly here and I talk to him. And anyone else who has said that he has communicated to him, it was false, and this is the last we are putting an end to it after I've spoken to him. Some may say the center is not holding. Uh, what led to this confusion? I think uh, you can read between the lines. There are different ambi ambitions. You know, when there is a corner kick, <laughs> people try to find how they want to score. But the time for scoring is not yet, because the corner kick is not yet there. The president might be in hospital, but he has not said he has stepped down. So we remain to work as a unit with the instruction, one person instruction, who is the acting president, and we try to hold the center of power. Elections are just around the corner. Is this not suicidal at uh, an 11th hour when parties are on the ground mobilizing? You are caught up in these uh, tensions. Yeah, it is disturbing, but we won't concentrate on that. We are going to concentrate on bringing Zimbabweans, Zimbabweans know what they want. They understand MDC, they understand the wishes of our president and what we want to achieve, and we are going to achieve that. After to, to yesterday and today, I've, I feel more energized to work uh, on the wishes of our icon, our fighter for, for the liberation of Zimbabweans, who is Richard Morgan Changra. And he has put an end by saying no one should be coming to bother him, no one is communicating other than communicate through me. Coming to the preparations for the elections, is MDC ready for the coming elections as announced by the president, Emerson Nangagwa, that they will take place very soon? Yeah, MDC has been ready um, for elections before. If you went to reg voter registration, we registered more people. Uh, than anyone else. We have been busy on the ground. We have got a strategy which is working on the ground, which, which works both for rural and uh, for the urban. But we are doing it in such a way that uh, we don't alert those who are not careful. We just want to make sure that we, our, our supporters are not victimized. As you know, the history of Zimbabwe is that our supporters are victimized. We want to make sure that um, um, we surprise Mnangagwa. We know that he has no support. People support MDC. If there are any changes by any means, uh, the, the president will be there to ensure that uh, uh, the acting president will be sure will be there to make sure that there is order in any changes that will come. I will make sure that there is there is enough order. President uh, of the MDC is he still a candidate for the coming election? He, he, I have no other brief from the meeting I had. He's still the candidate. He might give me later, but what he has insisted on is that we must unite, work towards elections, and I must be seen everywhere and must bring everyone. 
on board to ensure that uh, we deliver the victory in phase east. If should you think otherwise, you will invite me again without anyone trying to send any, any confusing communication, then you will give me the instruction. If he doesn't uh, do that, then he has already told me certain steps that we should be taking to ensure that we bring sanity and make sure that uh, MDC wins the next election. We are told that former Vice President Joyce Mujuru and former President uh, Robert Mugabe held talks. And uh, are we likely to see the new alliance or perhaps a new coalition uh, in Zimbabwe? The alliances are with everyone for us. In MDCT, we have had an alliance which is existing with seven political parties, but there is a clause which is open. Others can ca come in and join in. It is, it is dependent on the strength you are giving to the alliance that will make us talk to anyone. And it's that strength that we need in an alliance. We don't need faces. We don't need an, a pact for the elite. We need a pact that makes us win the presidential election and uh, win the, the overall election and ensure that there is a difference in Zimbabwe. We are, Emerson Mnangagwa was just reading a script, a script which he, may, he has copied from us, but we are not worried. He should improve the economy if he can in the next few months to ensure that when we talk over, we are bringing the light of the, the script we have written to the people of Zimbabwe. We ensure that they have better lives. We ensure that they don't starve about their cash. The cash, the cash crunch should stop. And uh, the, the poverty that exists in Zimbabwe is due to greed. And we don't expect that these old, um, uh, these old uh, uh, 37 year old ministers can change anything after 37 years. We need a new crop, which is MDC. And we partner not only with political parties, we partner with labor, we partner with other networks like uh, pensioners, the war veterans, and we have been doing networks to the extent that uh, we can deliver Zimbabwe. That's why President Changra has entrusted me with uh, the acting position to ensure that we deliver. We delivered in 2008. These are the same people, Munangagwa and, uh, and uh, Chiwenga, who stopped us from getting power. We had won. So we are prepared to win again and I can assure you that we will win because um, uh, ZANU-PF is more in Tatars than ourselves. Are you engaging Joyce Mujuru? We, we can discuss if they, we have been engaging before. What we need is a win-win situation.